guys. I have a confession to make. Good morning, ladies and kiddos. Probably not the right time to say that after yesterday's video, but speaking of yesterday's video, hope you guys enjoyed it. And like what I said yesterday, I'm not like a, you know, a, a tea channel, and uh, I will never be. So that was kind of like a one-off thing, so, you know, if you guys like the tea, uh, don't come to me. I'm a vlog channel, not a not a journalist, all right? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. The only reason why I was, like, really talking about it is because I had no other, like, video ideas. Your boy had nothing else, you know what I mean? Otherwise, yesterday's video would have been completely dead. With the editing process, I did do something a little bit different. I've done this, like, once. What I did is I, I edited the first half last night, and then I edited the second half this morning, and had plenty of time, so we're good. Maybe I should start doing that more often, but I don't know. I, I don't really want to risk it because there's some days where I just don't wake up on time so last night i was falling asleep while i was editing so i just know if i kept pushing through all that i that the video would have been garbage you know what i mean so yeah i wanted to make sure i get the, the the best content for you guys and at the same time honestly take care of my health you know what i mean like i actually got some sleep that's the best of both worlds right there i did see casey and ice that talk about like his like schedule like his daily schedule or whatever and what he does is that he records his videos he ends it around like 6 p.m like the recording phase and then you know he would hang out with his family or whatever he would go to bed and then he'd wake up around like four or something like that four or three five which i'm not doing that but the idea is that he edits his video from the previous day during that time because that's the time when like it's the most quiet his kids wake up at 7 30 and stuff so he's got like a big window like a two hour window of like just editing and you know just peace and tranquility tranquility i've not used that word in a minute so, yeah i don't know i might start doing that again not the waking up at 5 a.m part definitely not but waking up early like before work so i can like edit my video might be a good idea either way we got work now so well, before that i gotta feed the fishies hey, hey another day another alive they are not dead all right now let's actually go to work <laughs> All right, food time. Yes, I barely touched this food, man. Like, I, this is why I want to start doing this again, because, you know, I want to save money. This is good stuff for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brody's upset. What are you? Too good, man. All right, so here's some news, uh, model news. Or no, model mail. Model mail. According to some trusted sources, i.e. Deja, apparently the Shield stuff is on a billboard, so I'm on a billboard technically, which is interesting because uh, I, I don't, I don't, I haven't seen it yet. I don't have any clarifications whether or not it's like actually here in, in, in Fargo or some other place. So right now I think I'm gonna drive around here just a little bit. If I could find it on the interstate, dubs in the chat if i can't then it's, it's all good because billboard i'm assuming it's like like on like obviously on the interstate and knowing shields i'm sure that you know they'd get the the best billboard possible in the most busy area you know what i mean if your boy is actually on a billboard that is crazy that is that is cool stuff and i never thought i'd end up in a billboard man always another show oh girl you stay I just want you to know I found no reason for me I'm sorry that I hurt you Strumming my pain with his finger Healing me softly with his song With his song Telling my whole life with his what's killing me softly guys I have a confession to make and um, this may disappoint some of you guys and and I'm sorry about that uh, I just want to come clear and I just want to be transparent as much as I can with you guys because you know you guys are like my family to me and yeah I just want to clear everything up and Hopefully you guys don't think of me any different after this. So. I'm unfortunately a huge big back. 
As I mentioned, hopefully you guys don't think of me any different. Um, this is just something that I've been kind of bubbling up for the past couple of days, and I wanted to tell you guys because, I, like I said, I wanted to be transparent with all of you. No, actually, though, I actually wanted to no, I apologize really quickly because I broke a promise. Well, honestly, I broke a promise to myself. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be ordering any, uh, any fast food for a while until YouTube Shorts happen. I saw this thumbnail on a YouTube Short, and I thought it was interesting. And then I started researching a little bit, and I come to find out that it's a huge deal. It is uh, Wendy's. Well, I, I could just go through everything with you guys. This is uh, this is Wendy's. When I did my research, it said that this was $22. But I looked on the Wendy's app. Y yep. Big bag. I looked on the Wendy's app, and it's actually $18. Well, Aldrin, what is it? What, 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 what do you have from Wendy's? If you go on the Wendy's app right now, well, actually, first of all, you got to look through the website. It's called wendysnugs.com. It'll show you a map of all the places that do this deal. Go through this website first, and if you have a location that uh, that that does that participates in this, go ahead and download the app. When you download the app, what you gotta do find the the party nugs. I think it's eighteen dollars for a fifty piece chicken nuggets. Such a so yeah, 50 solid pieces of chicken. The nice thing about this is that it comes with how many sauces? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It comes with 11 sauce packets. Or little 11 sauce like cups or whatever. I got the ghost pepper ranch. I got the ghost pepper ranch, of course. I saw the deal, man, and I took it. And also on top of that, I also made some raisin cane sauce. <laughs> Damn, bro. I've had this before, so we're gonna start off with the ghost pepper ranch. It's been a while since I've had Wendy's. This this was a good idea. Let's try it naked, all right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. I don't know what else to say. It's like a little bucket. My God. Dip it in the ghost pepper ranch sauce. Oh, God damn. Yo, that slaps, man. That slaps. Now we gotta try it with the, with the Raisin Cane sauce. God, way too good. So yeah, it's my confession. I'm sorry to disappoint any of you. If you guys do think of me differently, I understand. Call me Dr. Disrespect, because I'm not going anywhere. I will be taking a break, though. I'm going to spend some time with my family, go on a vacation with them, and I'll be back as soon as I can. Bro, shit, this is good. What the? You know, the thing is, right, for all I know, this could be kangaroo meat or, like, dog meat. It's good nonetheless, so I'm going to finish this up now. Squeeze into this tiny shirt. My big back has no room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I get it. This might be a little odd. Aldwin, why are you recording a fight? 5 17 a.m. My nap kind of turned into a full sleep. I guess this gives me an idea for tomorrow's vi or in my case, in later's video. But for tomorrow's video, I guess I have an idea of how I could structure it and what I could like, I could base it off of something, you know what I'm saying? I went to bed at like around 9 and then I woke up at 4 30. So I got a solid seven and a half hours of sleep that I didn't even mean to do. My bad. <laughs> if this video is unnaturally short, uh, I'm sorry. This is the big mistake on my end. But you know what? At least I'm at least your boy is getting that nice sleep. And then for you guys, tomorrow's video is gonna be a uh, a productive day. So if tomorrow's video is a productive day, then you'll understand why. It was unwillingly productive. There you go. Actually, well, I wanted to give you guys a couple of updates. Those chicken nuggets really put me down, huh? Let's look at Twitter since uh, I talked about this yesterday. I wanted to continue talking about the drama. Uh, this isn't gonna be the title of the video, obviously, but I just figured it'd be something important to talk about. You know what I mean? So. So there has been news circulating around coming from Jake the Viking saying that uh, Mr. Beast knew the whole time of Chris Tyson's situation uh, or Ava Tyson for the you know for the people that get offended that's what jake claimed and also there was an ex-employee for mr b saying that here's exactly what he said ava tyson is only the, the 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 tip of the iceberg which means a lot of things to be honest with you you know that could mean a lot of things you know what i mean that could mean things from the mr beast production crew is sketchy all the way to the mr beast production crew are also pdf files you know what i mean that's just speculation at this point if he's got some points to bring out i feel like he should bring it out too unless he's got an nda or something but you know that's, that's besides the point now obviously people on twitter have been haggling mr beast to respond to this because you know it's a it's a it's huge news this is crazy news this is a huge and integral member of the biggest channel in the world so i it's it's important that you know the owner of the biggest channel in the world needs to respond to this it's not just like a you know like a oh charlie broke my finger but no it's it's, it's much more important than that so mr beast did respond he didn't respond on youtube imagine <laughs> imagine 
imagine it. Imagine the Mr. Beast channel got a response video. Here's what he said. Over the last few days, I have become aware of the serious allegation of Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I have seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. This is interesting because, okay, so let's talk about the first half of this sentence or this paragraph right here. I heard about this. Like there was rumors that he was actually hiring like a like a like an investigator to get down to the bottom of this. And but I honestly, man, just just ask Twitter, man. Twitter will probably get the answers for you whether you like it or not. I think it is appropriate though, since these are serious allegations and this could seriously damage like a huge company get an investigator or whatever all that kind of stuff it's it's a, it's a good idea the second thing that he said though about the i have taken immediate action to remove ava from the company my channel didn't chris tyson say that he removed himself let me get that fact straight here hold on this is what ava chris tyson said seeing the recent events we've mutually decided it's best i permanently step out all oh, mutually okay 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 never mind never mind never mind mr beast gave him the boot chris just made it seem like uh he stepped away no nah, but no nah, no nah. he got he got booted. It's all good. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. I think this is the most appropriate response that I could uh, that we could actually ask for. I don't know. In his position, it's hard to respond any other way. I think professionally is the only way that he could really respond because, you know, it's Mr. Beast. Actually, at the same time, Mr. Beast has been, like, exposed, I guess, quote-unquote, for some, some edgy jokes that he made back in the day. Specifically, Keemstar was the one that was exposing him which is like what the hell keemstar comes from the leafy era keemstar comes from before that area what, what are you what are you what are you talking about those were edgy jokes he said something about like uh he said something about bad baby and he's like oh would you put your or whatever that clip came from a podcast episode where he specifically said let's say something out of context so people take it out of context god damn it keemstar you stupid son of a bitch. That's the recent news about Mr. Beast and uh, M Miss Miso Beast. Nothing really else. Uh, actually, I wanted to give you guys a quick little update on the fishies. They're in there. They love hiding in that log. It's so weird. They seem to be enjoying their lives. There's some bacteria growing in there, but I, I don't. I think that's normal. I mentioned yesterday how uh, I, I did a little bit of research and I found out that that is called. Uh, bacteria blooming apparently i feel like one of the main reasons as to why this is happening is because of the like the temperature that my room gets my room temperature kind of ranges between like i don't know like 77 to like you know 70 right now it goes all the way down to 70 whenever i'm in here because i got the ac running but but the bad side about that is that it could get up to like let's say 77 maybe even 78 because the ac over there there's that big air pipe that connects to the outside so air from the outside could just come in here whenever the ac is not running and you know turn up the heat in here i could be completely wrong just kind of my theory though i was thinking of like humidity and that kind of stuff but then i realized how the hell does humidity matter when <laughs> when it's a fish tank but no i'm thinking it's a temperature issue they seem to be fine in there if it gets any worse i'm just gonna have to clean this whole thing again and go from there the filter seems to be doing its job properly anyway so i, I i'm not mad about it i'm also gonna be doing the rest of the model <laughs> bro it's been a while since i've done the orientation man so a little bit of updates on the modeling stuff again the model mail here a little bit well not even just model mail just kind of everything that i do i want to actually start like getting back into everything again and start balancing all my days again still focus on youtube hard but um at the same time focus on the other stuff too because i don't want to just put my eggs in one basket right now which ironically tomorrow is going to be the start of me doing that i'm going to be doing a very productive day tomorrow getting back to the swing of things again watch out for that you guys will see me do other things start working again on the things that i started so. is there like a fish tank cooler because i know there's a fish tank heater but if there's a fish tank cooler i'd love to have one of those might be for the best that's besides the point ladies and gentlemen i think i think we could be done with this video i guess i have to apologize for two things in this episode one for being a big back and two uh sleeping at the wrong time and then now you guys get content all the way from <laughs> right now it's 5 a.m so you guys are getting like the freshest content here no pre-recordings here at all <laughs> point is thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm gonna have a productive day in tomorrow's episode now so uh yeah yeah turn around no, I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key, and my heart is to lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.